So here goes the uh, DRSSTC. This coil is actually like the only one I've got out of all the random ones I've got laying around that's suitable uh, for this frequency range. I think I tried running it earlier and it'll actually start limiting all the way up. Uh, so it's not letting me get full output, but it lets me get pretty damn close to it. Originally had my little tank cap sitting right here. I guess my OCD helped me out, but I was getting some strikes directly to the cap all the way up. And I'm guessing it was limiting at the same time. Uh, so I just went ahead and moved it back. And then hopefully I won't get any strikes. I'm not really sure. Uh, the arcs kind of want to shoot out a lot around this, this little cylinder here. It's not smooth enough to really encourage the arcs to mainly come out the breakout point. I'm going to incrementally turn it up with uh, my toggle push button here. So let's see. I'm going to put it at about probably like 100 microseconds. It's probably about 100 microseconds on time. So that's like 45 volts. Seventy-five. Let's see. Cut it up so. Yeah, so I'll leave it about right there at about hundred microseconds. And so here's about a hundred volts. And again, if I cut it all the way to like 120, I think it's going to start limiting. And so my light comes on. Not bad though. And let me put it all the way up. So I get the impression that now that if I just sort of bump that down a little more so it's not limiting all the way up, the arcs would be pretty damn decent. It's just that coil is too big. No telling how long the little cheap tank caps down there will last. That's sort of my plan to kind of over time see how that works. little cheap basic build like that. It's kind of interesting that the OCD all the way up just happens to be at a point where uh, when it starts limiting, it's just soft limiting it. If I go too small, then once I put it on this platform, it's probably just going to ground strike all the time. So that's sort of the downside. 